We did it for all. We stopped the Zeniths. We saved life on Earth. Well, for now, at least. There's another threat coming. I don't know how we're gonna beat it. But... We'll face it together. All of us. Rest easy, my friend. I'll visit again when I can. Elizabeth had a dream for this world. I guess a lot didn't go as planned. And there are still dangers ahead. Maybe the biggest yet. But after what Beta and I accomplished, I... have hope. We'll fight for Elizabeth's dream. Together. Maybe one day, I'll head back to the Sacred Lands and see Sona again. Tell her what her son accomplished. And how brave he was. Everything okay, Gaia? Yes, it is good to be home. Although my heuristic matrix will take some time to reinitialize, I must ensure that all Zenith code has been purged from my systems. Good idea. Take as long as you need. Are we going to be able to fix the biosphere with Hephaestus back out in the wild? With its escape to the Global Cauldron Network, Hephaestus has resumed its operations and increased its security protocols. I am already formulating options to recontain it. Additionally, I will utilize the capabilities of my remaining subordinate functions and make every effort to stave off collapse of the biosphere. I am certain it will gain us some time. Sounds good. Reinitialization in progress. I will inform you when it is complete.
I've got to be more careful. What is this place? So, yeah, I told the rest of the team. I was standing in the cafeteria trying to pick out a god-awful meal cartridge when it suddenly hit me. Every school field trip, August always asked me to pack extra in his lunch bag so that he could share it with his friends. I, I don't know how I was lucky enough to end up with kids so generous. And I know he'd want to share this too. So, to uh, whoever finds this place, this was us. The last time I spoke to Leanna, they were just about to ship out to the Pacific Front. They really believed that if they could buy us some time, it'd be worth it. That Zero Dawn would save us. But if you were listening to this, then they were right. It was worth it. Their name was Leanna Jensen. 9th Civilian Guard Brigade for Operation Enduring Victory. And they were so, so brave. Do, do I see it now? Okay. My name is Emma Irving, and I'm eight years old. And my favorite animal is a fox. Do you have foxes in the future? I hope so. They're the cutest. And super smart. Dad said we have to go underground soon. She's like a fox. And then the bad robots won't get us. So, I guess this is HNG. Hi and goodbye. The day I was supposed to meet my sister's new baby, a vert swooped in and a crew of mass commandos threw a bag over my head. Next thing I knew, I was being told how the world would end, and given a choice. Die now, or help Zero Dawn and die later. At least Nicole, Ella, and baby Aiden will be safe in Elysium. Gave up my allotment to make sure they could stay together. I don't know if any of this will actually work. Zero Dawn, cradle-raised humans. But if it does, do better than we did, okay? Got to be honest. I don't really know what to say to the future, so I guess I'll say something to the past instead. Mom, Dad, I know you'll never hear this, but I wanted to say thank you. For all those times you dragged me along as a kid to volunteer at Hot Zone Relief Centers. You used to say, you have to pay it forward. The future will always be brighter for it. I'm trying to live up to your example. I love you. We'll be together again soon.
I see you, champion. There's someone in Arrowhand who's been looking for you, champion. Goes by the name of Moralo. Sounded like he had something important to discuss. I'll try to stop by Arrowhand when I can, then. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. Sky's running out of rain for now. These guys. I should take care of the leader first. Give the others a chance to retreat. Watch out for those lookouts. Cut me a couple of fingers. See that too? Real? Look around. Call out anything unusual. Watch out for those lookouts. Never mind. That was a waste of time. <gasps> <gasps>
freezing out here. You almost had me. Hostile! Go, go! Clear the floor! Get ready for it! Pain subsiding. We were too slow. We stopped. in charge. Not as good. Check if there's anything with a lock around here. Old tugs. I should take them to Duca when I can.
Take it to the melee pits. The clan lands are open to you. Enjoy your time in our settlement. I'm going, Ravika. You can't lie still. You only make the world worse. I saw the Outlander fly with my own eyes. What's going on here? You're her. The one from the embassy. Please, you have to go after my father. He's going to get himself killed in the stand of the Sentinels. The forest beyond the village. Everyone else seems to have forgotten that we don't abandon our own. Fenira? <sighs> if you're gonna drag the Outlander into this, at least tell her the whole story. Garoka gave her that stab wound. It was an accident. How did your father accidentally stab you? For a while now. He's been sneaking out of the village to hunt alone in the stand. Sometimes he's gone for days. So this time, I followed him to his hunting camp. Tried to convince him to come home. Words led to fists. And somewhere in the middle of it all... His knife. He was already gone when I fell. You would have bled to death had I not come looking for you. It doesn't make any sense. The way he looked at me... It was like I was a stranger. Perhaps it's time to recognize... He's fine! He has to be. I can't make any promises, but I'll find him if I can. At least to see if he's all right. Where's his hunting camp? Southeast of here. Thank you. Glad that's settled. Now you need to rest. Bring order! Fight! <laughs>
honor and strength. Walk with pride. Uh, the end of the battle. <laughs> Mira said her father's hunting camp should be near here. The hunting camp. This must be where Fenira confronted her father. I might be able to pick up his trail with my focus. Blood. Must be Fenira's. From when her father gashed her. There's supplies for traps. Groga must have been preparing for a hunt. A jar of oil knocked over. Maybe when Garoka and Fenira were fighting. Some of the oil might have gotten on Garoka. Looks like there's a trail I can follow. Let's see where this leads. Lost Rider. And a lot of traps. I must be Goroka. I better help him. Now, man. Let's see what you've got. Thanks for the assist, Huntress. Come. Let's speak. Fight. Like you're Tanakh, but you're not one of us. State your name, Outlander. I'm Aloy. 
You must be Garoka. Venera asked me to find you. She's back in the village. She's recovering from a wound from your fight. Then she's in good hands. Come, we have to get moving. There's a squad deeper in the forest. They're about to walk into an ambush. By who? Rebels? That's what you want to call them. Spineless scabs. All the same, I could use your spear. What do you say? Fine. Where is the squad? This way. We'll make faster time if we cut through the Sentinels. How do you know about the attack? We've been watching enemy movements in the mountain pass. They've been trying to take our territory for years. This is just their latest attempt. Years? Rakala's rebellion isn't that old. Something's off here. Sure they were. Never mind. We have to get to the squad. Garoka's definitely not all there. This isn't looking good. there. J-Squad, we're... What? No! An old memorial for fallen soldiers. I think we're a lot more than too late. This makes no sense. Garoka. Who are you, Outlander? How do you know my name? I'm Aloy. Fenira asked me to find you. I'm guessing you don't remember what happened. I went away again, didn't I? Why are we here? You told me there was a squad. I was about to be attacked. This is where it happened, isn't it? A long time ago. Yes. My squad. The Sky Clan ambushed us, slaughtered them all. It would have been... 30 years ago now. Fenira thinks you've been sneaking off into the forest to hunt. You've been coming back here. There's no easy way to say this, Garoka. She's hurt. Bad. She tried to stop you from leaving. I hurt her? But I would never... No. Everything is... A fog. I feel like I've been wandering through it. Lost. My blade unfamiliar in my hand. And when it finally clears... I can't remember what I was doing or why. I'm always just alone in the forest.
How long has it been like this? This fog? Weeks. Months, maybe. At first I thought it was a passing thing. Like forgetting after a knock on the head. Then names and faces became... difficult. And I started finding myself in the forest, unsure how I got there. Why haven't you told Fenira? What was I supposed to say? That I'm unraveling like a frayed, weak rope? No! But look where that's gotten you. She has no idea why you hurt her. So the Sky Clan ambushed your squad a long time ago? We were almost through with our patrol, about to head back to the village when they swarmed us. I alone survived. When my wounds scarred, I returned here and built a memorial where my comrades fell. And then I struck down twice as many of their soldiers in retribution. Such were the clan wars. Earlier, you said the enemy had been trying to take the Lowland Territory for years. I guess that was during the Clan Wars? Before Hikaru became our chief, our clans were constantly at war. We fought over every inch of this forest. The ruined village nearby is a remnant of those days. No matter how many soldiers fell, there was always another vendetta to pursue. They say that's why the wood of the Sentinels runs red. For the generations of blood spilled. We should head back to the village. Wait. The memorial. It's missing a piece there. A marker of metal. Made from the blades of my fallen comrades. Where is it? It has to be around here somewhere. I have to find it. I know it's... I know it's here. Hey, calm down. Let me take a look. Okay. I should scan the memorial with my focus. Tracks... leading away from the memorial. Lead the way. Amber jaws. They might have scrapped the marker. Filthy scavengers. On your lead.
find the marker. Might be in one of the Clamberjaw scrap piles. I'll stand watch in case more machines show up. No marker here. I better check another scrap pile. Marker here. I better check another scrap pile. Got the marker. Now to give this back to Garoka. I think this is the missing marker. Yes, that's it. I'll return it to the memorial. You go on ahead. I want to spend some time to remember my comrades. Are you sure? I'll be fine. The fog is gone for now. All right. I'll head back to the village and let Fenira know you're okay. Thank you, Eli. Well, at least I can tell Fenira why Garoka's been running off. Back to Tide's Reach, then. Don't worry about me, I'll head back to Tide's Beach soon.
Aloy. Aloy, you're back. But where's my father? It's okay. I found him. He's not deranged, Fenira. He's been forgetting things more and more. He thought he was still in the clan wars, that he could save his squad from an ambush. When we got to the memorial, he came back to the present. Said it's like he's been lost in a fog. Wait. I've heard of something similar, a rare occurrence among chaplains. Their memory fades with the long years. Karoka's not a chaplain, but he is the age of one. Before Hikaru became chief, few of us would live to be so old. So that's why. Oh, thank the Ten. If he was found to be insane, then by rights he'd be put to death. What? No, he's just getting old. He needs care, not a death sentence. Pretty sure the rest of the village sees that as one and the same. But we'll keep a close eye on him. Speaking of, where is he now? Here. Spear. I, I'm so sorry. It's all right, Father. You're home safe. And I understand now. When the fog comes, I'll hold your hand tight and remember for you. You don't have to be afraid. Thank you for all your help. Please, accept this. Your deeds here, what you've done for Fenira, will always, always be remembered. Thank you, Aloy. Aloy? Yes, Aloy. Walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. <laughs> 